So there is the lineup. Nine athletes for this 400 meter hurdles to get the international program on the track underway here in the, the stadium in the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. Michael Tinsley goes in lane four. He's the Olympic silver medalist from 2012. Johnny Dutch in five. He, well, Great Britain goes in lane one. Van Zale in two. Then Javier Coulson in three. Tinsley goes in four. Johnny Dutch in five. Uh, will he uh, produce something special to get rid of that frustration? A little bit like Kenny Harrison last night in the hurdles. Dutch in the pink, then chasing the orange vest of Yasmin Yasmani Coppello in lane six, fourth from left. Certainly, Karen Clement is seven. Third from left has gone off very quickly. Already past Sebastian Roger. I would say he leads at the moment. Although in lane three, Coulson has committed two. Coulson in the headband, third from right, going very, very strongly as Tinsley now gets into his running. Certainly, Johnny Dutch has got some work to do in that pink or red strip in lane five. But Coulson probably leading at the moment. It is indeed Coulson. The orange vest of Capello is still very much there, looking controlled. Long white socks in lanes six and seven for Capello and Clement. But Coulson takes that barrier smoothly. Now here comes Van Zyl. LJ Van Zyl of South Africa, former World Championship bronze medalist, battling hard in lane two. And look at this finish from Clement. That is a storming last 50 from Clement off the final barrier. 48.42, dragging Capello through with him. And I thought Coulson had it sewn up. I really did. He looked so strong with that ninth barrier clearance. I couldn't see him being caught. But the winning time confirmed at 48.40. It is quick. That's the uh, second fastest time in the world this year. And Karen Clement running a season's best there, peaking nicely. He's so, so experienced, this 30-year-old world champion back in 2007 and 2009. And who knows, maybe you're looking at a man who will be Olympic champion in three weeks' time. Well, coming off that last bend, certainly Coulson had run an absolutely super, twice world championship silver medalist at this event, and really has got the pedigree and the class. This is the best I've seen him for some time. And Van Zyl on the inside, absolutely flying here, but Clement came back from about a five-metre uh, deficit to take this, uh, with Capello just sneaking past Van Zyl on the inside. So that was a very, very good race indeed, and... Uh, Certainly, this is the best I've seen Karen Clement for some considerable time, but 48-40 for him is very, very good. He wasn't phased by the fact that the others were ahead of him when he came off that last bend and when he came into the straight. His transition was good, his hurdle approach was good, he came off the hurdles very nicely, looked relaxed and had all of the power and the body language that said, I'm in charge. Well, Johnny Dutch hasn't found his racing legs yet. He ended up in... Uh, Seventh place did the uh, world number 149.60. Clement, though, very nearly tops the uh, world rankings with that win in 48.40. Good run from uh, the top Britain, Jack Green. They're in fifth place, 48.99. Only his second time in four years, under 49 seconds. So an impressive finishing straight run from Jack Green. Well, Karen Clement then, a season's best, 48-4-0. Sets him up nicely for Rio with this final race. Javier Coulson, impressive too, 48-63. The Puerto Rican finding his best form at the right time. Yasmani Capello, the European champion, in third place. And let's check the diamond race.